Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, two losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Perth, Australia, Jack Della. And when the action begins, I went to charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Great punch, landed with so much power. He throws bombs. Every time they come into contact, he just throws bombs. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Yeah, left hook found its target. Under three minutes to go in round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Liver kicks, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Single collar tie now. Left hand punch from the clinch. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Under two minutes now to go. Beautiful body kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. 
collar tie. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Single collar tie there. It's a nice back and forth action here. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the side punch to the head. Goes to the body there. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Recover, shake it off. That round doesn't matter. We're gonna move forward this round and really put the pressure on this guy. Let's take him out of his element. Ready, fight. Ready. Second round underway. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Liver kick. Straight right, he misses. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's... Oh. Oh. His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Obrey versus Donnie. And you know he's still having fun out of his head. And now he lands a combination. Nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. The right hand just misses. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that other play. Trying to stay in this fight. Don't be surprised to see him win a $50,000 performance bonus by the end of the night as he stops his opponent there in his tracks, courtesy of that elbow. You know it's been a part of his repertoire for a long time. Beautiful technique. He's got a lot of power with that limb, and he certainly made his opponent pay here tonight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout assassin. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches 